This is video part two of aligning a vintage WebCore AM FM pocket radio. Video part one was the FMIF using the BNK 415 sweep generator and an oscilloscope. Part two is going to be AM alignment of the IF and N tuning antenna tuning capacitor. Going to be using a BNK model 970 transistor equipment analyst. They made several of these. Some of them were called radio analysts. Some of them were called equipment transistor equipment analyst. You can pick these up on eBay. Good thing to have if you work on old radios. It has a power supply to power the radio up. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the battery. I get a good battery in the radio. And it has a voltmeter for checking various functions. And it has a frequency generator here. And this will also do the FMIF using the 10.7 megacycle and a voltmeter on the detector output and peaking the transformers for maximum voltage rather than using a sweep generator as I did in video one. This is a good thing to have, like I said, eBay. You can pick these up pretty cheap. Transistor Equipment Analyst or Radio Analyst by BNK. This is our radio. Just flip this over here. Now, yesterday I went through in video one and described what all of these cores were, and their color coding is generally the same in this style radio. Dark red is the AM oscillator. I'm not really going to screw with this because all turning this would do is adjust the location of the stations relative to the dial. Yellow is first to AM. IF. Gray is second AM IF. Uh, orangish red, green, pink, and blue are FM. I screwed with those yesterday. I'm not going to do anything with them today. The one thing you want to do is go through and mark the location of this style because it's easy. That way, if you screw up, you can go back. Of the output, RF output of my B and K going to this big coil here. Yesterday I used this little thing. Well, this is a much lower frequency, so it doesn't really matter, but I just got a coil of wire here and I got the RF out leads on that. So we want to turn our radio on here. What we want to do is just find a blank. Why these references? Find a blank spot on the AM band where there's no stations. And we, we don't even really... And we don't even need the direct couple. We just turn our analyst on here. We have audio level and RF level. This is, I checked this with a frequency counter. It's fairly accurate. Uh, have it on 455 kilocycles. The 415 is crystal controlled and much more accurate, but that's not really necessary for the AM band. So what we want to do is we just want to keep the RF output as low as possible on the generator. Just have where you can hear the tone in the noise. 
We just want to adjust the yellow. And the gray for maximum 400 hertz. Okay, now for the antenna adjustment. Turn that off. Now, we could use the analyst, but another way to tune the antenna trimmer is just to find a station around 14 kilohertz. It is out of the heart that many of these issues of which we're talking about today flows long before the penis is inserted. It's the heart that has the lust, the green. Heart issue. Jesus said, you need to be much more concerned about the what's inside the cup than the outside. You've cleaned the inside uh, or the outside out, but you left the Actually, what I'm going to do, um, when we talk about I'm going to go right here because in L.A. every station is just booming in. You could do this with a weak station, but there are no weak stations. Then I'm going to put my antenna here. I'm going to turn this back on, and I'm going to select up here, and I'm just going to... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off on the RF all the way, which it's very weak. Again. Then what I want to do is I want to you, know, you notice here yellow yellow is the FM antenna trimmer Green is the AM antenna trimmer. I marked it. The one to the left would be the AM oscillator. And the one to on the bottom would be the FM oscillator. So I'm going to adjust the one marked green on the top for maximum sound here. It's always better to use an all-plastic alignment tool if the, the thing is not so tight it'll break. So that seems good. That's a demonstration of a general AM radio alignment. Much easier, much simpler than the FM.